a big hello to all of my fellow night owls and sky gazers. I've always been a bit of an astronomy enthusiast, but never was one for posting on forums like this. More of a lurker, you could say. But after last night, I decided it was time to come out of my shell. It all started when I heard about that upcoming lunar eclipse. Where I am, it was gonna come up and be at its full glory around 4 in the morning, so I decided to set my alarm for about 3.50 so I could get up in time to really enjoy it. I don't have a telescope, unfortunately, but I did have a nice pair of military-grade binoculars lying around for special occasions just like this. I was more than excited. When my alarm went off, I was practically already running across the room for my binoculars. I was so ready I could barely sleep anyways. Walking out on the balcony, I took in a deep breath of crisp morning air. I usually hated the cold, but tonight I could handle it as I stared up at the beautiful heavens above. I brought the binoculars up to my eyes. As the Earth's shadow began to creep across the surface of the moon, it turned an odd and haunting shade of deep red. Was that supposed to happen? I figured probably. I adjusted the focus on my set to crisp up the view of the moon's surface. And that's when... I saw it. A colossal, grotesque impossibility that defied all logic. I instantly jerked the binoculars off my face and tried to verify with my naked eyes, but I couldn't see a thing. Bringing the pair of lenses back to my face, I couldn't believe it was still there. I felt like I could barely breathe as I absorbed the horror of the scene before me. It was, as far as I could tell, a spider. If it's not a spider, then fine, but that's the closest thing in my vocabulary to describe it. I mean, it was just impossible. Imagine a spider the size of a skyscraper its long, spindly legs casting eerie shadows on the surface of the moon as it ambled along with a grace that seemed impossible with its monstrous size. This creature was the color of the deepest, darkest caves, with a sheen that seemed to absorb the weak lunar light, making it appear as a silhouette against the eclipse-darkened moon. And if you can even believe it, through those scopes I could even see its eyes. Oh god, its eyes. They were like glowing red portals to hell, burning with an otherworldly malice that seemed to stare right back at me. Even through the vastness of space between us and our moon. The way it moved was both plainly disturbing, and yet also unnervingly smooth, each leg lifting and descending in a deliberate, calculated manner that suggested intelligence. I watched, frozen in horror, as the creature suddenly stopped. I felt my breath stop right along with it. Then, after a few moments of stillness on the level of a statue, it hurriedly began to burrow into the moon's surface just underneath with a jagged, quickened pace that was incredibly jarring against the previous smooth motion. Its legs moved impossibly quick, digging, clawing, carving a home down in the moon's dusty exterior. Before too long, the creature had disappeared into the newly carved hole. 
And then, just like those desert sand spiders, it began kicking the sand back up, covering and filling in the hole, eventually disappearing from view, as if it had never been there at all. The area where it had dug the hole now looked entirely nondescript. The, uh, the entire event lasted probably about five minutes, but to me it felt like an eternity. When the creature vanished, I was left staring at a now seemingly undisturbed part of the moon, the eclipse moving on in the most ordinary of ways. My hands were trembling, and my heart was racing. I lowered the binoculars from my eyes, trying to process what I had just witnessed. Was that real? Was it somehow some trick of my tired mind mixed in with some lighting anomaly? Or had I truly seen a gigantic spider burrowing its way down below the crust of our moon? After standing there, trying to process what I had just witnessed over and over in my skull for some time, I suddenly realized what I needed to do. Without another moment to waste, I rushed online, scouring astronomy forums, news sites, social media, anywhere someone watching the eclipse might have run to. But to my shock, there was nothing. No panicked reports, no blurry photos, no mentions of giant lunar spiders anywhere. It was as if the only one to witness this bizarre horror was me. Now, uh, before I make my attempt to tuck this away into the darkest, deepest recesses of my mind, I figured I'd reach out here just to make sure and do my due diligence in asking the question. Did anyone else see that thing? Did anyone else watching the lunar eclipse that night see what I just described? In some ways, I hope the answer is a resounding no. Though I also want any excuse I can have to not think I'm going mad. I, uh, find that when my mind turns to the moon today, the feelings evoked are a quite different experience. What once was a symbol of beauty and the unattainable is now mixed and melded with the memory of that creature. Every crater and shadow on its surface now holds the potential for horrors unknown and the night sky I had cherished up until last night no longer feels safe. Then again, this all just happened last night, so maybe I just need to let the dust settle a little. But as of right now, the universe has just become a much bigger, darker place, and I can't seem to shake the feeling that what I saw last night was just the beginning. Thank you all for listening to tonight's episode of Clancy Pasta. Really hope you enjoyed. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe or follow for more. Comment down below, let me know what you think, give the video a like, yada yada yada. Uh, if you're listening on a podcasting platform, you can always go to youtube.com slash Clancy Pasta to get new episodes first. And uh, huge thanks to all of my patrons and YouTube members for your support. It means a ton and uh, really couldn't do all this without you. Okay.
Okay. New episodes coming soon, and thank you all so much for listening. Have a great night. Cheers. <laughs>